Long time no see, boys and girls. It's been a month. Well, we were in Europe for a month, and it was beautiful. While we we're in Italy, I got an email saying that I got selected for both lottery hunt that I applied for. And my mind started drifting away. I kind of started losing interest in Europe and I, my mind just drifting into uh, woods in Virginia. So I was getting a little eager to come home. Even though I missed most of my archery season, I still have 10 days left. And I'll be taking out my Wildcat Extreme by Bonnet. And if you see my review on this uh, crossbow, I have this thing set bullseye at 20, 30, 40, and 50 yards. So this is very capable. It's a little, you know, it's a little bit on a heavy side, but a uh, trigger is really nice. And this thing shoots like a dream. In Virginia, they allow crossbow during archery season. And thank God for that, because I have a bad rot a right rotator cuff on my right shoulder. So I have a hard time doing this, but I have no problem cocking my crossbows. And another reason why I like to use crossbow is that they're much faster than a compound bow. So uh, when you shoot a deer with a bow, when they hear that thong sound, they tend to duck. But with a crossbow, they're so fast, they don't really have time to duck. So you won't have any problem uh, hitting a deer, uh, having them spooked. But after 30, 40 yards, they, it does give them a little time to duck. So you do want to have it drop a little, just a little bit, not much. As for the broadhead, I've been using Spitfire by uh, NAP and I've been using this for about seven eight years now and they're very accurate very effective and if you look at it very carefully it's got a serrated blade and that makes it really easy for it to penetrate through the ribs or even sh uh, shoulder blades so uh, and they fly just like a field tip so uh, up to 50 yards bullseye is not a problem for me uh, I used to use Muzzy a broadhead uh, previously but then they're very accurate and very deadly up up to about 20, 30 yards, but, but beyond 30 yards, they tend to be affected by wind a lot because this is a fixed blade. And I had a bad experience uh, with a deer about 40 yards away, so I stopped using it. And then I switched to uh, Spitfire and I never had a problem. Tomorrow is Thursday, 25th, and the sun rises at 7.30, so it's legal to shoot from 7. And I'll be up in my tree stand by probably 6.40. Uh, 6.45 and just be ready for it. But tomorrow morning is going to be pretty chilly. It's going to be in low 30s, but very calm. And we have a forecast of having some rain from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm hoping I have some deals moving tomorrow morning before the rain. I'll see you up in the tree stand. It is now 6.45. And I'm ready to hunt. But we have a full moon. That's never a good thing, but we see we have a very nice, cold, clear day, so who knows if we might get lucky. It is now 7.20, and I just had a deer pass me on my right about 50 yards away. Never stopped. I never got a chance to even look at him. But I had a deer pass me, and right now I see a few squirrels moving, so this can be promising. As soon as I was telling you about how the deer passed me on my right 50 yards away and I was measuring uh, different trees with my range finder and to my left I was ranging a tree at 30 yards and there was a fallen log at 40 yards and as, as soon as I put down my range finder I looked at with my eyes to, to confirm the trees and then I see a medium sized deer walking out so that's when I just became frozen and it looked at me and it looked like he was alert when he was looking at me. It was about 33 yards away and our eyes met. So that's when I, that's when I kept my gaze down and then I turned my head a little bit to the right. And then with, with my right hand, I hit my whole face like this. And then I turned really slow back to there. And the deer was looking at me, but at this point, he wasn't alert anymore. He just went like, huh, where did he go? Kind of thing. 
and then he started doing his own thing. But once in a while, he'll glance back at me. So I stayed like this, but that deer was looking behind him. So I knew there was mama coming behind him. So, and sure enough, uh, when that, that medium sized deer was relaxed, I see a movement behind, you know, maybe about 20 yards away. So that's when I, you know, that's when I decided to move my crossbow because that, that deer wasn't looking at me anymore. So I moved my crossbow. I had a dead solid on the tree stand. And I was just waiting for it to, you know, I was just waiting for the doe to come out. And as she was walking out, she stops right in front of that small tree that was covering the vitals, you know, go figure, right? And then after that, she walked out. She walked out and gave me a perfect broadside shot. And I had, I've been shooting this crossbow long enough to know how accurate it is. And I was that solid, pulled the trigger. Nah. I was completely concealed so she didn't see me. She was looking right at me but with this face mask. She can't tell what she's looking at. I just hope I made the right shot. I was I was pretty sure she was about 35 yards away. I put her on a 30 yard pin because I'm shooting from the tree stand. Uh, I don't know. We just have to go down and see later. Oh man, that was that happened really, really fast. It is now 7:30, so we're gonna give up another hour. I'm gonna try to wait for some other deers and go down and check it out. I'm not 100 percent sure if I hit the door or not. I just saw my dad. Let's see. It is 8.05 now, it's been 35 minutes, and I just looked at it, and I could see my arrow laying right at 32 yards, so I'm very, very confused. I, there's a good chance I might have undershot it, and I don't know how, because I had it right on my second crosshair, which is second from the top. And the more I think about it, that doe didn't look like she was hit, she just like ran off like nothing. So I'm very confused. Uh, I don't get it because I just shot this crossbow two days ago and it was dead on at 20, 30, 40, 50 yards again. So I was more than confident. And there was no movement. There is no wind. <sighs> this never happened to me before. Uh, I'm very confused. I'm not gonna wait any longer because suspense is killing me. And at the same time, uh, I don't want to shoot at any more deer if my crossbow is not sighted in. I'm just going to go down and check it and see what happens. I don't know, man. We'll see. Oh, man. I don't know. This tree right here makes you 30 yards. There's my arrow. <sighs> Let's see. Oh man, I think I missed her completely. It looks like a gut shot. I don't know how did that happen. I am right for the chest. I see some gun contents. I don't see any blood signs. I don't see any blood. Ah, this is actually worse than I thought. I wish I would have missed her completely. What the hell? Ah, this turned out to be a bad day for me. Let's go see if you could track her down. I don't know what the hell happened. I see one 
blood drop right here. And if you could see that, just one drop. A little bit more blood here. A little bit more here. And I'm shaking, I'm still shaking up. I see a little bit more blood here, but there are not a lot of blood. It's not very promising. Ah, uh, looks like she crossed the water here. I see some blood here, but I don't see any bubbles. And again, it's not a lot of blood. Not very promising. A little bit more blood here. There's a little bit more blood here. I'm not sure if I should continue or back out and come back later. <sighs> okay, I'm back in my car. I'm getting something to eat, get some water. And I followed about 150, 200 yards and there was not a lot of blood. Um, it didn't look very promising so I decided to back out because I don't want to keep pushing on it because once she crosses somebody else's property line then I'm done so I'm gonna give it about two hours uh, I shot her at 7 30 so I'm gonna go back in at 9 30 pick uh, pick up where I left off and hopefully I can find her and if if not you know what do you do it is 9 35 I am back on the blood trail that I left off the last and hopefully I can find my dough uh, that was, that's the last couple of drops of blood and I've been zigzagging about 600 yards and beyond this I don't want to go beyond this because it's borderline here uh, I hate to say this but this is I guess this is where I stop trying to zigzag back the blood trail that I came in it's not easy because she kind of went zigzagging everywhere. And you can see some blood here. I'm trying to find my way back. Right there, that looks like a pretty promising, but then for some reason, I did a gut shot on her. I think maybe I might have gotten part of liver because you could see some of the dark blood. But other than that, she, she seemed like she was fine. Uh, I didn't see any sign of bedding anywhere. Uh, she didn't look like she was fatally shot where she had to bed down a little bit. She just kept on going. There's no sign of bedding anywhere. So, and I kind of came to the end of the trail where I can't go beyond that line. Uh, so I'm just finding my way back. You could probably see my tree stand behind me. And I am back where I shot the doe. You, this was exactly 32 yards away. And I headed on a second cross here, which is 30 yards. And I've test shot this crossbow just two days ago it was fine i don't know what happened i don't know if my uh, blade opened up while i was flying i'm gonna go home uh, i'm gonna target shoot some more and this i'm gonna actually shoot it with a, a broadhead even though it's gonna cost me a little money because i don't want this happening again and i want to make sure i'm on it before i'm on the next deer hunt <sighs> well it is what it is. Oh, and one more thing. I always wear my orange cap when I'm tracking a deer, even though it's not required during the archery season. I just want to make sure everybody knows that I'm in the woods and it's better to be safe. I gave my all and I just couldn't go any further because there is that, you know, the property line and I wasn't about to get into any kind of uh, hassle. I can't honestly remember last time I actually lost the deer. Uh, I found all the deer that I shot and this really sucks. Uh, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe I just got too cocky. Uh, I was always kind of bragging the fact that I've never lost a deer and it happened. So what do you do? <sighs> but next Saturday is the muzzle loading season. So this is pretty much all I have. And today is Thursday. So tomorrow, from tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be start raining. And I'm planning to go back out tomorrow morning. I'm going to shoot my crossbow in my backyard, make sure they just sight it in. And I'm going to shoot it with actual broadhead, uh, to, just to make sure that it's not acting funky while it's flying. 
and hopefully I see something tomorrow because uh, I don't want to end the archery season with a big zero. So we'll see. Hope to see you back in the tree stand tomorrow.